Kia ora everyone, uh, we're back here with a bouncing ball and it's working really really well, um, but I think we can do better, I think we can add another ball in and there's a, um, there's a difficult way to do this and there is a much more pythonic way to do this and you should be doing it the pythonic way but just for now we're going to do it the hard way because I want you to feel the pain. I really want you to feel the pain of why you don't do it the way that you might think that you do it uh, out in the wild. Okay, so challenges, add another ball to this scene. Still going to bounce around. It's going to have a separate position. It's going to have a separate velocity in the y-axis. It's going to have a separate radius uh, and it's going to hit the screen in the same way. Okay, cool. Get rid of, the, get, get rid of that one. Well, you might think, well, I'll just Copy these variables, and I will uh, and I'll just add them in. Great, let's do it. Uh, copy all of these variables. Uh, so let's call them, instead of x, let's call them x2, uh, y2, velocity x2, velocity y2, radius 2. Uh, okay, cool. So now we need to draw... Uh, every time we draw a frame, we now need to uh, draw one at x2 and y2 uh, with radius 2. And we're going to draw it a slightly different color. Let's draw it... Um, uh, okay. Brunswick green. Lovely. Uh, okay. So here's my bounce code. Um, but that's currently only working for one ball. Uh, well, why not? Let's, uh, fine, it's already there. It's a quick cop copy paste. Uh, why not? Okay, so if x uh, two is greater than width minus radius two. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is getting already. This is getting a bit tedious. I'm gonna use that alt click thing, and I'm just gonna use multiple cursors. Here we go. Alt click. Alt click. I'll click. Oh, yep. Okay, the radius 2 needs to be there as well. Now, rem just hold in the back of your mind each and everything that I'm doing here introduces one more chance that a bug could be introduced. One more chance that I could miss something. One more chance something could go wrong and I have to spend another hour figuring out why on earth the code isn't working exactly the way I want it to. Uh, so in this case, I can just do that. And I think that's all fine. Um, uh, let's give it a shot. No, we'll need to actually change the values, of course, or else we just have two balls in the same place and it's not going to look that cool. So uh, x2 is going to be... Uh, uh let's start it in the other corner 200 y2 is going to be 150 154 let's get it slightly off I'm trying to add floats here just so they like don't always hit the corners um let's go 7.4 and this one's going to be uh 8.8 .8. and this one's radius is going to be even smaller it's going to be 15 big it's going to be a little rocket it's going to be going fast and it's going to be a little here we go Ah, reference before assignments. Of course, I get, look at that. I see it another way that every time we do this, it's another chance to introduce error. And I had exactly that. I need to bring them all in We're using that global thing. X2, Y2, velocity X2, velocity Y2. Okay, have we got it? Yes, we now have two balls. Awesome. Oh, one of them's gone off the screen. Hmm. What's happened? No, we must fix it. We must get it working. This is part of the pain. Um, it's to do with this ball. Where is the error? What have I done? Uh, that looks fine. Ah. Uh, that's looking fine as well. I can't spot it straight away. What is causing the error? If you can spot it, tell me in the comments, or I'm sure lots of people will. Um, I either way, this is this is a silly, silly way. Um, this is a, a, a silly, silly way to do this. Um, 
Another 10 seconds. Can I spot the error? If it's going off the top, so if it's greater than if, ah, there it is. I found it. That could have been half an hour. It could have been enough to make me decide to give up on a particular day or stop coding, you know? Here we go. Two balls bouncing around. Great. I want 10. Now what? How are we going to make 10 balls? Are you going to do that nine more times? This code is already starting to get a bit sprawling. We're starting to repeat code as well. And the golden rule of code is don't repeat yourself, don't repeat yourself, don't repeat yourself. There's got to be a better way. And there is. It's classes. And we will talk all about classes and how they solve this problem uh, in the next video. And we're not just going to have 10 balls bouncing around that screen. We're going to have 100. We're going to have 200 at the click of a button or the change of a single line or even sometimes a single digit. Great, that's all for now. Kaki